Okay, okay, everybody, shuffle off the boat now. Shuffle off the boat. Thank you for coming here. We are at Stonehaven Castle. It's a beautiful place to have a battle, but I'm here to teach you a little history. Did you know that this castle has history? And it's posted right here at the front of the castle. This is the story of Soros Castle. That's actually what it's called here on the Stonehaven premises, the Soros Castle. Now, the shortest was a crossing between the new land and the continent. Soros Castle has a long and immense for eventful history. Many centuries before the King Belinda II began the great stone castle here in the 1140s. So as you can see, class, this is a very, very old structure, and we've come here and decimated it with our modern weapons and RPGs and such. Um, now, it's a spectacular sight atop the famous ghost cliffs and still houses Queen Julia's throne, one of the best preserved centuries. The ruins beside it was once probably part of the Soros Castle. So, now as we come here and vigilantly realize that we're just destroying history with every bullet, it is so fun to do. The Now, we want to explore Lord Darby class. We want to... Class? Cla well, anyways, we want to explore Lord Dobby. Here's a map of Lord Dobby from the English Cultural Center. The Bracamontes Island capital is home to the Saraz Castle, founded by Lord Dobby. Lord Dobby found this spectacular place that I'm going to add my own piece of history to. Uh, now, let's get back, which, which overlooks the ruins from an extinct cliff view. See the national treasure, Del Rosio's crown, before admiring some of the oldest English decorations at Sarazza's Castle of the Great Hall. To the left, of course, the original map. To the right, you can see the portrait of Lord Dubby. So, class, whenever you can find yourselves back into the boat, we've got to go. The field trip is over, but there is your history of Stonehaven and the Sarazza Castle. Thank you.